Hey everyone, I'm back with September's Q&A. This time, very special Kiwi guest. That's me. <laughs> chin. This is Chin. Whenever you say her name, she points at her chin. Yep, it's yep. a thing. She makes awesome travel vlogs. Oh, thank you, Charlie. And she's currently staying with us in London mm -hmm. and traveling around. So we thought that the theme of this month's Q&A could be travel. Sasha says, what is one thing you always forget to take with you when you leave to travel? There's I, always one thing, yeah, right? Yeah, there is. Yeah. I actually always forget my togs. Really? I okay, always forget my togs. For people who are not <laughs> Kiwi, togs means like your swimsuit. Swim, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> for me, it's not one specific thing. But there's always something that is always different. Usually yeah. it'll be like toothpaste or something like that. Mm. And usually I just buy it at the airport when I yeah. realize that I've forgotten. Emma says, what has been your favorite destination you've traveled to so far? Oh, this is easy. Is it? Like, I was just going to say it's really hard. <laughs> what is it for you? Um, well, on this trip uh, like especially, has been New York because mm. um, I spent only two days there, which wasn't enough time. So I was like, oh, I needed more time there. I think I'm going to love New York when I eventually go. I'm going to say Valencia because that's just a city that I fell in love with the first time that wasn't a place that I lived in, you know? Mm -hmm. That feeling that you just feel completely at home in a place that you don't even live in. Emma also asks, what is your dream destination? If time and money weren't an issue, where would you go? Okay, so my friends um, recently did a whole month in New York oh, and wow. they spent five days in each area cool and then they did a mini road trip in the middle mm -hmm. so i i really just want to stay longer in new york yep and sort of do what they did i would mm. love to go to new york but i feel like that is achievable for me like i could go for a weekend trip or something so if time and money was an issue and if safety wasn't an issue mm -hmm. i would like to go to egypt it's always Ooh, been a dream of mine yeah. to see the pyramids since i was about seven years old and we studied ancient egyptian culture in primary school but unfortunately it's just not very safe over yeah, there. So. Tanani says, what is your must-have travel app? Are you a big travel app person? I guess I've been using them, but I didn't realize I relied on them so much. <laughs> so one of them is Tripcase. And okay. the thing is, I don't know how it works because I sort of just downloaded it. Maybe I like put my email in it yeah, a it, while it ago. Yeah, it takes like your bookings, right? You're, and it gets yeah. your itinerary in there yeah. for you. Because yep. I just never remember setting it up, but it was just working <laughs> and I was like, what? City Mapper is a good City one Mapper. as well. Yeah. Because that's in lots of different cities, I think. Lizzie says, what has been your favorite airline to travel with? I don't know if I'm biased, but... In New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. in New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> in New Zealand are pretty, just a pretty great airline. Yeah. And I don't think we're biased in saying that because you hear a lot of people say that, yeah, a lot but of in New say, Zealand it's yeah. really good. So. Yeah, and I just sit there cringing, but also loving the video in the beginning. Oh yeah, yeah. the safety video. Yeah. Katie says, as YouTubers, how do you keep up with uploading and social media while you're traveling, especially when Wi-Fi is hard to find? I don't keep up with <laughs> anything if I can't. <laughs> um, with YouTube, I don't have a schedule, so I don't keep to that because I don't have one. Yeah, fair enough. Mm -hmm. And with mine, I generally try and film and upload videos before I go so then I can just go and set them live. Because mm. Wi-Fi, I don't know, you just can't rely on it. And you have to maybe allow like a whole day for your video to upload on hotel mm. Wi-Fi if that's what you've got to do. Oh, this is an interesting one from BJ. She says, what is your biggest travel regret? Have you got anything you can think of? Um, I think when she's talking about oh. bad accommodation, I think she's talking about how um, another YouTuber, Chase and I, we stayed in a really dodgy, I bad this. place. Yeah. But I don't think it's a regret. Like, it makes for a good story. So, yeah. Um, yeah, but I think last year we missed out, or my friend and I missed out on going to Budapest. So that's a bit of a regret. Yeah. But we had to cancel it, so. And so I think regrets with travel are always the things you don't do mm. rather than the things that happen, right? Yeah. Like, things like bad accommodation, like you said, become a story afterwards. Mm -hmm. I think biggest regrets for me is often times trying to do too much in a place and like worrying about going to all the tourist sites mm. and things because I do really love looking at the architecture and the monuments and things like that. But sometimes it'd just be nice if I had just sat in a cafe for the afternoon, you know, and people mm -hmm. watched. That says, what are the basic things to pack light? Packing light is something that I've learned over the years I did not used to be very good at. Mm -hmm. Still don't know if I'm very good at it, to be honest. <laughs> what about you? You're traveling yeah. for like ages. So and like, you've got... I I think I'm pretty good yeah. at traveling light with it, just a medium suitcase. Mm. Um, like I could never just do like a little backpack or something. Yeah. But um, <laughs> with clothes, pack the comfortable clothes because yeah. those are the ones yeah. you end up wearing, right? Yeah. I wear the same thing like over and over. Yeah. And, and you have to be okay with that when you're traveling. If you look at my Instagram, it's your, I'm wearing the same outfit. <laughs> 
and everything. Because <laughs> I just tend to wear the same things yeah. over and over. It's fine. Yeah. I think that that's just a thing with traveling. Kelly says, what's one thing you always take when traveling but never actually need or use? I always pack an umbrella with me. And <laughs> like, I took an umbrella to California. Mm -hmm. That was not necessary. That is not necessary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just always afraid that I'm going to get caught out. So I want to be prepared, you yeah. know? Um, I'm trying to look in my suitcase because I can't think I use everything. That's good. Yeah. That's really good. That means you're a good yeah. packer. There's always some clothes that I end up taking and not wearing. Like, mm. I'll take way too many t-shirts for, yeah. you know, use over the week that I'm away. How do you structure your time when traveling? Do you have any routines or create content in advance for YouTube, etc.? So we already talked about the fact that I do create content in advance. What about structuring your time while traveling? I feel like that's something that I let go of, is that structure and routine mm -hmm. when I'm traveling. Yeah. Because I'm such a stickler for my routine when I'm at home. I don't know, what about you? Um, I think it depends on the place and the time. Mm -hmm. So for example, last year when I went to Barcelona, I only had two days there. So I had to Good plan point. everything yeah. if I wanted to see everything. I like to plan where I might want to go to eat as well. Yeah. Because I don't like... Like when I'm in a new place, I want to eat at really cool, good places. Yeah, you know? me so too. So that's why yeah. I'll look them up on, on yeah. review sites. Yeah. And, and see where I should go so that I don't like waste my time at a crap place. Yeah, yeah, I hate that. Yeah. Mm. Last question comes from Paige and she says, what would be the number one thing to see in London slash the UK? As oh. a tourist, what do you think? It depends on the person. True. So I like food, so I, I've been to Borough Market a few times and whenever I'm there I spend a few hours there. And I've also taken two of my friends there and they also said that they're going to take their boyfriends there as well when oh, they come visit. Oh, there we go. So, so that's obviously a must go to a place. Must, I feel like it yeah. is because it's also a place where tourists but also locals go as yeah. well. I always recommend people go for a walk along South Bank as well. Mm. That's a really good spot for people watching and you get to see sights. You do see sights, Big yeah. Ben and the London Eye. It's just really nice yeah. and I like going down there still even though I've lived here like a year and a half now. Mm -hmm. That's all the questions we have time for today. Thank you for being in my Q&A, Jen. Thank you for having me. She goes <laughs> home next week, yeah. so I'm very sad. Mm. I'm trying to make her move here, though. Yeah. So. If you want to check out Chin's videos, which you definitely should, she has some travel vlogs up probably by this time from mm -hmm. our trip to America, and she's done ones in the past that are awesome. Mm -hmm. Chin does this thing when we go out uh, on holidays where she does yes. cheers shots, yeah. which is really cool. It gets together a bunch of shots from different locations. That sounds really confusing. Just go watch it. It'll be linked on a card and down below. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to her while you're there. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Bye.